The United States has a long history of separating indigenous children from their families and placing them in either boarding schools or white homes, contributing to intergenerational trauma and erasure of native culture. But in 1978, the Indian Child Welfare Act ICWA sought to end this practice by requiring that native children in the child welfare system be placed with indigenous families whenever possible to maintain connection to their cultural identity. ICWA is now being challenged in the Supreme Court case Holland v. Burkine. The backers of this lawsuit, conservative think tank Goldwater Institute, claim that ICWA is unfair race-based discrimination. But indigenous tribes aren't a racial classification, they're a political designation. This is important because the U.S. Constitution recognizes indigenous tribes as sovereign governments with the ability to govern themselves, and ICWA affirms and protects that. So overturning ICWA not only puts the well-being of indigenous children at stake, but also tribal sovereignty, something that is continually challenged here in the U.S. and leaves the door wide open for an attack on laws that relate to sovereignty over education, housing, and healthcare.